Hey everyone, Scott here discussing Shrek, featuring the voices of Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz, and John Lithgow, directed by Andrew Adamson and Vicki Jensen. Now before I get into this movie, I have seen this movie quite a few times in my life. Do you see the shirt? Can that tell you something? <laughs> And I am doing this series leading up to the new Puss in Boots movie. And we'll see how this series goes. It has its ups and downs, but I don't remember the series very well. I remember this first movie very well, but the other movies, not so much. So let's see how this goes. We open with the fairy tale book being read by Shrek, voiced by Mike Myers, as he's using the bathroom and wipes one of his pages on his booty. While Shrek lives like a pig with All-Star playing in the background. As Shrek is an ogre living in the swamp, and this opening is pretty funny, and the animation is revolutionary for DreamWorks, as Pixar beat them with the first two Toy Story films and A Bug's Life, and on the same year as this movie came out, later on with Monsters, Inc. And this is the first animated feature film to win the Oscar, and it still looks good as it holds up. We get an older woman turning into some fairy tale creatures as well as taking donkey, a talking donkey, I'll say, named Donkey. Uh, no, Donkey, I'm sorry. Voiced by Eddie Murphy as he briefly flies away but wears out his magic and runs until he bumps into Shrek as we start off with the characters very slowly introduced, which works quite, quite tremendously. Donkey annoys the daylights out of Shrek as the writing is very well done, and as well as its comedy, Donkey asks Shrek if he could stay with him, and Shrek reluctantly agrees, but for one night only, and sends him outside as they barely know each other, and their characters as well as their relationship grows throughout the movie. That very night, Shrek is having dinner with some Donkey, or not with Donkey, what am I talking about? With Donkey being outside, until some fairy tale creatures starting with the three blind mice as well as Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and the Big Bad Wolf either in or outside of his house as they were sent by a little man named Lord Farquaad voiced by John Lithgow as he was while he tortures a gingerbread man named Gingy Shrek and Donkey go to Farquaad's palace called Duloc which is an interesting name as for a town as Lord Farquaad gets the mirror mirror on the wall and he wants to be king as he needs a princess to marry and gets three choices as one is Cinderella, two is Snow White, and three wait, where'd you go? is rescuing Princess Fiona voiced by Cameron Diaz from a fire-breathing dragon and tries to tell him what happened as the mirror tries to tell him what happens to the her at nighttime, and I love these characters as they're very relatable. The next day, Shrek and Donkey arrive to Duloc and get an introduction song that by a catchy music box where they talk about the rules of Duloc and how much it's a perfect place. And Shrek and Donkey go to the stage, and Lord Farquaad wants to kill Shrek, and they have a wrestling match against Farquaad's guards. It wins the fight and decides to give the ogre the mission of rescuing Princess Fiona. And these scenes are a heck of a lot of fun, as this movie is fun from start to finish. Shrek tells Donkey about what ogres have, which are layers, as they're like onions. Which is an interesting choice to compare ogres with onions as they walk to the castle where they will find the princess. And this is a good story to tell about misery to happiness. They arrive at the castle and go through the bridge and enter the dragon's castle while Shrek puts on some gear to save the princess and Donkey looks for the stairs until he finds the dragon as it throws Shrek to the castle where Fiona is at and gets her own while gets her out while the dragon is in love with Donkey and holds him for a while and Shrek saves Donkey by the dragon having kissed Shrek in the booty, and runs out with Donkey and Fiona as they escape the castle, which was very thrilling in my opinion, as it's pretty funny. Fiona asks Shrek to take off his helmet while being demanding, and as he does reveal 
her as he's an ogre, and he picks up Fiona and takes her to Duloc as she figures out it will be the next day till she gets there as she wants to set up camp and once again acts demanding about it. And he finds a cave as she hides a secret, which will be revealed later in the film as Shrek wants to build a wall around his land, or swamp, let's say, because people hate ogres as he feels better off alone, which I feel is pain. I feel bad for Shrek as he says that, so I get where he's coming from. Fiona walks, wakes up the next day and sings to the bird, to a bird to the point it can't breathe anymore and decides to cook the bird's eggs, which was very funny to the point I felt bad for the poor birdie. Shrek and Fiona get to know each other a little better as the gang of Robin Hood comes in and Fiona kicks their booties like a kung fu fighting kind of way as there was a moment that was like a ripoff of The Matrix, their first one, not the sequels, which was pretty funny to see, and Shrek sent, ends up with an arrow in his booty, as I was cracking up this, and this story is quite simple, and I'm having a good time with it, as it is a good time at the movies for 90 minutes, as this is a 90-minute movie, and I'm enjoying myself. Shrek and Fiona have dinner together while they're camped, by a cabin as she sees the sunset. She goes inside the cabin while Shrek sits outside and next and nighttime comes as Donkey finds out Fiona becomes an ogre at nighttime, which when I first saw the movie in theaters the first time, that twist I did not see coming. And it was a spell cast by a witch and in order to get rid of the curse, she has to get true love's first kiss and as Shrek comes back to the cabin and he overhears Fiona saying she can't be with Shrek and gets the wrong idea as he once go as he was going to deliver a sunflower and she picks it whether to tell Shrek to to tell Shrek or not overnight and the morning comes and Shrek brings Lord Farquaad to Fiona as he's upset with her about what he heard what she said last night or the night before, I should rephrase, as she thinks he has no feelings and goes off with Farquaad and ditches Don and Shrek ditches Donkey and goes back to his swamp as he's right back where it was and they both don't feel too good about it while Donkey fail, falls in love with the dragon. And the songs are a good mix as this is not an original soundtrack, sure, but it's fun for what it is. Donkey tries to talk with Shrek about how, how Fiona feels about him and gets the dragon to fly them to the wedding. And as they come back to Duloc, the dragon terrorizes the guards and Shrek and Donkey go inside to object Fiona and Farquaad's marriage and barges in and explains he wants to marry her because he wants to be king. And Shrek confesses Fiona he's in love with her as she shows him he, her curse as she is an ogre, which explains a lot for him. And Shrek calls for the dragon and to eat, f and the dragon eats Farquaad. And Shrek says to Fiona he loves her as they kiss and break the curse. And she's an ogre for the rest of her life. And they get married in front of the fairy tale creatures. And the climax was a fun time for this movie. And a great way to start off an animated series that has its ups and downs as well as a couple of spin-offs. I mean, I I don't remember too much about them, but we'll see how this goes. As of now, it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.9 out of 10. The animation was revolutionary for its time, and I am glad this won the first. This was the first animated feature film that won the Oscar for its first year, and it holds up as I like these characters as it starts off simple, and it's a simple story for 90 minutes. It has its humorous moments as the script is smartly written and the soundtrack is not original, sure, but it was fun for what it was and it's a great start off uh, to a series that has its ups and downs and I go on as well as a couple of spinoffs. This is a great time at the movies and as I had fun with it from start to finish and this is a recommendable movie so it's a, so yeah, it's a high recommendation for this movie. And we'll see where this series takes me as I barely remember the other movies. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. And next time we'll be back with Shrek 2. And until then, 
The ogre and the princess live happily ever after.